Now, as we've seen in the last few weeks, competition comes in many forms. You can be on the ice in a sled or in the case of some of Milwaukee's <laughs> top baristas in a coffee cup. Tonight, we'll go inside a coffee shop that's become a battleground. The weapon of choice here is the latte. Long after most people have switched to decaf for the night, there's a party underway fueled by adrenaline and espresso. Inside a narrow and noisy Pilcrow coffee, some of the area's top baristas have come together for a competition. Glory, all the glory. The challenge drawn in foam. I throw it on, it's just a bunch of people coming together pouring milk on top of espresso. 32 baristas and a lot of their friends are packed inside this coffee shop for a latte art throwdown. Ryan Hoban owns Pilcrow. Tonight he is their host and ringmaster. It's a stacked bracket tonight. Here's how it works. All those baristas chip in five bucks and put their names in a March Madness style bracket. Two by two, they face off, working in nothing but espresso brown and milky white. They try to draw the best latte art they can. They pour two lattes uh, and the prettiest design basically wins. On the line, typically a couple hundred bucks, depending on the size of the crowd, plus the right to call yourself the best. It's one of those things where everyone likes to say that they're the best, but you know, it's one thing saying that and actually doing it and showing it off. A team of three judges looks over the lattes and declares a winner. Two, one. Those judges look for three things. Contrast between the white of the foam and the dark of the espresso. Symmetry and the detail of a well poured piece of art. The contrast on this one definitely was what made that one so tough. But we went for, I think, like symmetry and style in overall. Onward it goes, two at a time, until the bracket collapses down to the final four. This night, it's a lineup dominated by Kickapoo Coffee, plus Amy Rohrschneider from Stone Creek. I go into like a little zone, you know, when I go up there. Amy's zone. Yeah, it collapsed in the semis, which means an all Kickapoo final. With two quality pours in front of them, the judges need to talk it over. This is what we went for all night. I yeah. think it would be a robbery to yeah. not go with it. With the details worked out, it's judgment time. The room leans in to see their winner. Three, two, one, pow! The pot and bragging rights go to Kickapoo's Andrew Pip. It's not quite winning a gold medal, but it's still a feat worth celebrating. Shout out Kickapoo, shout out to my mom, I love you. Scott Lucy, my boys, hey, let's hey, go. Hey. Oh, Ryan at Hillcrow, yes. how could I forget? Yes. <laughs> I got I got to judge one of these about a year ago because oh, I, like I, I drank a fair bit of coffee. Uh, it is a really good time. And to go they hang seem out pretty caffeinated right there, but it looks like a good a time. A caffeine and some other beverages as well. Oh. 